In these tough economic times, communities are opting to form agricultural cooperations as means of survival. However, the ongoing drought is not making it easy. The Sutotin Lala project was started in 2003 by the community of Piltin in Bisho. For years, these community members have relied on their maize harvest for survival. But things took a negative turn as they couldn't plow in the last two years. We don't farm because of the drought, but now we are ready to plow. We have all the equipment, fertilizers and seeds. Lack of produce is now affecting their families. We are used to farming and selling, but now the drought is too much. We would sell and get money, but times are tough now. The impact of drought is hard on emerging farmers as they have minimal resources. These are the fields used to produce tons of maize, but are now plain fields. The agricultural sector in the province had 19,000 job losses due to the drought in the last quarter. The best thing is to relocate massive production to the Mpondoland area where climate is still favorable to production. I mean, if you see maize that is produced there and other crops, it's, it's still green, while in other places it's, it's bad. In Matatiele, for instance, where some of the farmers uh, uh, produced maize, sold it to, to Vietnam, some have uh, changed the crop that they are putting. They are now putting soya beans. While the elderly are still hopeful that the land will yield economic freedom fruits, attracting the youth in the agricultural sector remains a challenge. But our focus is not just on, on, on unskilled labor. There are a lot of scientists in our universities and colleges that are coming out. We're encouraging them to take up the Iskalo Youth Fund, for instance. We're encouraging them to, to start their own businesses, but also to work as, as consultants and as, in other jobs within the sector to provide that technical skill. Because what they are taught in the, in the universities and colleges is needed by the sector. Service delivery. Housing and the revitalization of abandoned factories are also expected to be key areas in the Premier's address. Usisiwe Jemsana Mantashe, SABC News, Bishop.